Hey, what is up guys? This is Sean back with you with Tech Ninjas again. Um, today's video is about a piece of software that can recover a laptop or other mobile device such as an iPhone or an Android phone uh, in case it's stolen. Um, basically, this came about, um, a good friend of mine actually uh, emailed me the other day and basically said, you know, hey Sean, my laptop was stolen recently, it was brand new. Um, is there any way to track it um, by tracing the IP from an email address? I noticed it was done on CSI and the other TV shows like that. Is that a real thing? Can it be done? How can I get my laptop back? Uh, which is a great question um, and something that I feel like a lot of people have probably run into um, or maybe not have run into. I've run into it myself and I know it's a lot more common than people might think. Um, basically, I had to uh, basically tell her that unfortunately a lot of those crime show TV shows like CSI and NCIS, um, they doctor up the truth a little bit as far as the technology required to actually track uh, IPs and things like that. Sometimes it's not just that easy as tracking an IP address from an email uh, to finding the source of a stolen laptop in this case. Um, a lot of that's done just for the appeal purposes. Uh, it's done for, you know, just to keep the show moving at a very nice pace without getting stuck by uh, technological, um, you know, things that would, technological uh, barriers, so to speak. Um, so basically, I, you know, I'd asked her, she pr did not have any software prior to this, um, you know, that she knew of as far as a way to track it or any type of anti-theft software. Um, which there are actually a few out there that exist. Um, but basically the only thing I could tell her, unfortunately, and for any of you in this exact same situation who don't have software in place ahead of time, basically it is borderline impossible. Um, you'd have to have something installed before the device is actually stolen in order to then track it. Uh, so basically I, I, the only thing I can suggest for someone in that case um, and for any of you out there who are in the exact same, uh, exact same situation would be to change your uh, Facebook password, uh, your email password, your banking information, change your banking password, basically anything that you might have had on the device that was stolen um, that could be used to get back at you. You know, if you have stuff, I know a lot of people uh, have their uh, web browser and stuff save their passwords so they don't have to re-enter them every time they go to a website. I do that too although I use a secure program to do that, um, and I don't let the web browser do that, but that'll be for a different video. Um, but yeah, I basically told uh, this person to go ahead and uh, basically try to change as many passwords as they can to all the sensitive uh, websites that this person uses, so that way, you know, if there is an auto login on the laptop that was stolen, it, the, the thief couldn't then do something to you know get even more so it would be a really bad thing to then have lost your laptop or your phone and then only to have the thief gain access to something that was extremely private like banking or Facebook and then do even more harm to you and add salt to the wound so to speak um, so basically that's my little introduction today actually uh, a great piece of software that I've actually used in the past it's not actually done anything for me yet but it's all always about prevention they always say prevention is the best medicine um, and it's actually called prey now this is actually a free piece of software um, or uh, rather they offer it as a free service there is a paid version to it too and I'll go into the differences between the two um, but basically this software is all platform so it works on Android iOS um, laptop, PC, whatever, OS X, it works on Mac, um, and all of those bases are free. You know, it's not like one is paid and the other one isn't. Um, they all have the free access to the free service, and basically the free service gives you up to three devices um, that you can add this service to, and basically the service is just you add it, you know, if it's a mobile app, you just download it from the Play Store or from the iOS Store, from the App Store, uh, if it's a laptop, you just download uh, from their website, you download the installer and you just run through the install process. It'll have you make it a login account and things like that. Um, but you're up to three devices on the free account. And then um, you're able to, what it does is uh, if one of those devices that you have this software installed on, you can log into your Prey account um, through hopefully a device that you still have 
and you'll be able to mark the device as stolen. And what that will do is it will, on the device that you've marked it as stolen, wherever it is in the world, um, provided that it's hooked up to some sort of internet source. So if it's a mobile device, um, hopefully the device has to be on, and the device has to be hooked up to either Wi-Fi or a 3G or 4G connection. And then uh, if it's a laptop, uh, hopefully it's wired in or it's uh, near a wireless access point. So the, the, the software that is on the laptop will communicate with the Prey servers and then they'll communicate with you in the form of a report. And this report will have things like you can enable screenshots of the device. So it'll actually take a screenshot and it will activate the camera in some cases. Uh, if your, web, if your uh, laptop has a mobile cam, which most of them do now, uh, on a mobile phone, I believe it can access the camera. The built-in um, selfie camera is, is uh, probably not the technical uh, definition of it, but that's what I call it. Um, it will activate that camera and hopefully take a picture of whatever your thief is doing, or it will take a picture of the thief themselves. That way it will then send that information to you as well as coordinates and other pertinent information so that you can take that directly to the police and it is a lot more concrete than just, you know, hoping, sitting around and hoping that, you know, after filing a police report that something's done. Uh, this is a much more effective solution. Um, so basically, uh, like I said, the software runs in the background and it basically waits, it's, it'll sit there and wait for you to activate it and for you to tell the, uh, you know, you log in and you tell it that your device is missing and that's when it springs into action. Um, other than that, I think there might be a way for it to check the health, like to check it periodically and see if the device is still responding. Um, but th that's pretty much the, the gist of this software. And like I said, there are other ones out there, but Prey is free and I've used it myself. They have thousands of, um, of online uh, people have submitted stories about how their device was stolen and they use Prey to get it back. And they've got this all on their website. Um, some of them are actually really great reads in the way that they were able to quickly get their items back um, after they were stolen. Um, so basically that's it. That's that's what this is about. Um, it's all about being protected and uh, you know not losing your devices. It's all about being proactive in this case because like I said, you know, prevention is always the best medicine in just about every situation. Um, but yeah, please, uh, if you guys are watching this, please feel free to comment. Uh, you know, do you use Prey? Have you used it before? Um, I'd love to hear if any of you guys have, uh, you know, stories about it. Uh, if it, if you've used something like this, uh, maybe not Prey, but if you've used another one of these security uh, pieces of software, um, how well it worked for you, and uh, and you know. Um, is it worth it and all that stuff? Well, of course it's worth it, but but do, do you have it and do you do you use it regularly? Uh, but like I said, that'll do it for me today, guys. Um, so please share this with your friends. You know, this is a big deal, and uh, you might just be able to save some devices uh, in in the end too. So that's uh, that's it for me today. I'm I am Sean with Technology Ninjas, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey.